Welcome back. Today we will discuss an AP Biology question. This question is posted on my blog page and the link to this question is given in the description of the video. So the question is many poisonous animals are brightly colored red or orange as a warning to predators. This special coloration is called we have four choices here and we will have to choose the right answer. So answer choice C aposematic coloration is the right answer for this particular question. You can see a bright red frog here. The bright color of this granular poisonous frog signals a warning to predators of its toxicity. So this is an example of aposematic coloration. On my blog page below this quiz I included two useful links for further reference. One is from Khan Academy and other is from the Wikipedia. Now let me go to the Khan Academy page and show you. So here you can find about aposematic coloration. You can just control F and search for aposematic coloration. Let me just read this out for you. Some species use coloration in an opposite way as a means to warn predators that they are not good to eat. For example, the strawberry poison dirt frog shown below has bright coloration to warn predators that it is toxic. Let's see. So its color says that don't eat it, I am toxic. While the striped skunk, this, this particular skunk here, Memphitis memphitis, uses its bold pattern of stripes to warn predators of the unpleasant odor it produces. Don't eat, I am smiling. Beyond these two examples, many species use bright or striking coloration to warn of a foul taste, a toxic chemical or the ability to sting or bite. Predators that ignore this coloration and eat the organism will experience the bad taste or toxic chemicals and may learn not to eat the species in the future. This type of defensive mechanism is called aposematic coloration or warning coloration. So this is a warning to the predators. This is the Wikipedia page for the aposematism and this is the bright red frog that we talked about. And if we just go below in the defense mechanism section, you can find further details about aposematic coloration. Thank you all for watching my video. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Sarkar Research and Education where I post a test prep question every day. It includes epichemistry question, epibiology question and math question from ACT, SAT, PSAT and uh, STAR uh, tests. See you in the next video then. Danka Shun. Happy learning.